So I'm making this video for any of you guys who are for some reason interested in knowing the details behind making this graph on your calculator. Um, I won't go through the programming part of this. I'll just go through and show you quickly kind of all the ordered pairs and how to set this up. So if you want to just impress your friends at school, there you go. I hear some people are microwaving their brothers. I, I don't know how that's happening, but uh, hopefully this clears things up for you. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, all the ordered pairs that we're going to put in the calculator. That's them. So you can pause the screen, put them in your calculator, whatever you got to do. I'll show you where to put them in in a second, but these are all 120 points that I have sketched out on a piece of paper and copied onto this and then uh, input it into my calculator. So what you're going to do is, let's just quit out of this real quick. You're going to go to stat and then you're going to, it's already on edit. You're going to select edit and list one and list two is where you put your X, Y ordered pairs. So this entire list that you see here is all the points that I've written down here, right? You can see 10.213, 10.914. Uh, and those are right here. So all 120 points are in there. It takes probably about five, 10 minutes to put them all in, but that's the long part. If, once you're done with that, you, pretty much everything else doesn't take as long. But uh, input your order pairs into this list. Once you've done that, okay, like I said, that's pretty much the hard part. You go to your y equals, and uh, you know you don't want anything graphed on here. You want this to be blank, but you do want up here at the top. You see where it says plot one. You do want to select that and highlight it. So I just unselected it. So you see it's not selected right now. If I go up and I click enter, you'll see it highlights it in black. Uh, we need that because that tells the calculator to to plot the points that we just put in um, the, that list. So with that selected, it's ready to be graphed, but you have to make sure your window is set up so that you can properly see the graph. So if we hit window, you're going to want to set your window, and this is just the way I've set mine so that it would, you know, not skew my image at all. Uh, X min 0, X max 50. Yeah, you can, I mean, you can see them here. Um, you don't really have to worry about anything at the bottom here, like X res or anything like that. Uh, just basically the X min, X max, X scale, Y min, Y max, Y scale. Set it to these values, and with that said and done, you should be able to just hit graph, and it'll... Voila, you know, you'll see your, your fancy drawing. Uh, you can do this with anything. Um, just take some graph paper, you know, draw out a sketch using dots, um, and then just put them in the calculator, and that's how you can see any image if you want. It's kind of like, you know, a, a regular dot plot. Uh, I'm not going to go through, like I said, the programming part of this. Uh, I was going to, but it's not worth my time. I feel like most people just want to know what the gimmick is here with the graph. So that's all you need. I'll put the points up here one more time. Um, that's it. Just put them in your calculator like I've done. Uh, make sure the plot is turned on and make sure your window set properly and you're good to go. So thank you guys. Uh, I'll just, I don't know. Hopefully you don't microwave your brother anymore. All right. Have a good one. Bye.